Right now we're gonna focus on an outside tie up. There's multiple things we can go to. First thing we're gonna start with is just the elbow off drill. If man, if man B has a collar tie, man A is going to attack on the outside. He's gonna attack the elbow. He's gonna force the elbow in. He's gonna shrug his head and circle to the elbow side. Man B is going to attack on the other side now. And man A is gonna elbow off and attack that side. Keep going. One of the key points here is not to drop your head. You want to keep your head up, shrug your shoulders, and move to the side that you're forcing the elbow off. Uh, Charlie, let's go. Watch Charlie. Elbow off, and circle. Elbow off, and circle. Elbow off, and circle. And break. A couple uh, basic drills from inside ties and outside ties. We're just going to give you two. Man A has an inside tie. Uh, we just call it a basic duck drill. What he's going to do, he's going to take his double inside ties and he's going to duck one side, come out the back, and then he's going to go to the opposite side. He's going to keep going until we tell him to switch. And go. The man A is just taking his inside ties and pulling the man over top and going behind. All right, man B, go. Just going double inside ties. Lowering his level and going through and break. Now we're going to go uh, outside ties, double elbow vine, double outside tie. And almost the same thing where we're taking the elbow from an outside tie and passing the elbow over top. Another basic duck drill from an outside tie. And go. The man A is ducking with an outside tie. He's taking the elbow over top of his head, lowering his level and going behind. Alright, man B, go. Break. Alright, so now we're going to uh, do a couple drills with hand fighting. Uh, the first scenario is man A is going to be the one hand fighting. Man B is just going to be a good partner. Uh, he's just tying up, staying in good position, keeping his head up. But man A is basically just working his positions, uh, working his tie-ups, going to multiple different um, hand fighting situations uh, or, or tie-ups and setups. Uh, so man A, uh, man A is going to be hand fighting here. Man B is just being a good partner. And go. So you'll see man A is working an underhook. He's snapping. He's changing his levels. He's 180-ing. Uh, he's seeing heavy on the head. He's looking for inside tie, collar tie, double inside ties. And he's just moving his opponent. Uh, man B really isn't giving too much resistance. He's just getting in a good stance. Uh, keeping his head up and he's moving, uh, giving man A an opportunity to just work his tie-ups. And break. All right, now we're going to go into a situation where both men, uh, it's almost like a live situation, uh, more of a level three, uh, where both guys are, are working um, just for tie-ups, uh, trying to get inside ties, or even if they wind up in outside ties, they can be in a scenario where they're elbow passing or using an elbow bind to maybe pass the opponent by. But both guys are hand fighting, trying to get in a good offensive position or position to where they can shoot and score. All right, both guys hand fighting. And go. Now both guys are hand fighting. They're moving their feet. They're changing their levels. Uh, their hands usually should be moving. Every two to three seconds, their hands are changing position, moving their opponent. At this point, they're not really shooting. They're just trying to get used to getting inside ties, fighting hands, um, and trying to create a lot of motion. All right, this is just a basic hand fighting drill. It's more of a, a level two, um, where one man is in a good stance, but his hands are behind his back. So we'll have man A in a good stance, with his hands behind his back. Uh, man A's goal is just to stay in a good stance, keeping his head up, um, and, and he's gonna stay moving, uh, keeping his motion up. Uh, man B. He's basically going to push, pull, bang on the shoulders, using post, bang on the head, trying to snap um, man A out of position. Man A's only job is really to stay in a good position with motion, keeping his head up, um, and uh, staying in a good stance. And go. And break. All right, and we'll have.
have him switch. Uh, so man A, man B has his hands behind his back. Man A is the one uh, hand fighting, kind of attacking man B, trying to get man B out of position. Man B's job is to stay in a good stance, head up, uh, keeping his motion up, um, and just staying in a good position. And 